Okay, this is the uh, latest update on the XD440 kit. I borrowed a cabinet from a friend of mine who's nice enough to loan the cabinet to do some testing in. Uh, everything seems to be running good. I'm kind of putting the final touches on the menu. Uh, the game gameplay is all there. All the sounds are there. There's a couple of different options for switching games that I'm going to show. This is playing uh, Shine. Hey, 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 hey. Let the game time out here and let it die. Now, while that's playing, I'm kind of around the back and show the board in the camera. Back here, uh, this is down here where the typically where the board stack goes. And you see all the standard harnesses just going up and plugging them into this uh, to the FPGA board. It's not mounted; it's just kind of sitting up against that wood block right now. Uh, but again, just plug straight in. I did have to un unscrew one of the harnesses, one of the uh, tie down holders or the wires from the from the cabinet, just to make it give it enough slack to get plugged in. Uh, but other than that, there wasn't any of the other changes done. This particular cabinet's running off a switcher, um, so it will work with it if you have a switcher in your cab, or it will also work off the original power supply, so that's that's not an issue. Uh, sounds like the game's done, so I'm kind of go back here and talk about the menu system and how to switch games. So I kind of have two options. Um, the, the first option, which is something I've done on a lot of my other uh, kits, is just allow you to switch the games. Well, I did it on the... Uh, on the Cinematronics is you can just hold the start button and while you're holding the start button, pull the trigger and it will let you cycle through the games. And you can see, luckily, Exidy shows the game name right as, as the code first starts. So you can cycle through them pretty quickly if you want to get to the game that you want to get to. Um, let's get into uh, Crossbow. And then when you release the start button, it starts it. Now you'll notice uh, it's actually going through the standard uh, startup tests. Uh, I have a fast boot mode that's a selectable thing in the menu that allows you to skip this so it'll go right into the game. But I wanted to run it through this test just to kind of show uh, it does pass all the standard self-tests. It's using all the original okay. ROMs. There's no changes to any of the ROMs, um, which is something a little bit different than the original collection kit, which he, had, he definitely had to make some changes to the ROMs to, to deal with it. Uh, but that's that. The other method is to change games is if you just hold the start button down without pressing the trigger and it will go into the uh, the original collection title screen and that operates very similar you go through in and pick the game that you want pull the trigger and he goes into that game so, so both those are options for switching games uh, and then like I said I'm still working on the uh, the menu to set all the settings uh, where you'll be able to set the change the fast boot, change free play, change all the settings for each game, uh, and that's about it. Uh, also, the I've got the production boards and all the components for the production parts uh, are out over at the assemblers right now. They're assembling the boards, so I should have uh, production quantity boards back in a couple weeks to uh, program and do the final testing on, and then be able to start delivering. All right, thanks, guys.